Hi everyone, this is Paris de Bono of The Fortune Teller Shop. And today I sort of put a post in my Tarot, Tarot, Tarot Facebook group. And I asked people in the group, if you were walking down the street and you saw a fortune teller sign, what would you do? And I wanted to gauge how people react to the unknown so this was a post asking about a fortune teller sign, but it was really a metaphor for how, how do people, how do we as people react to things of the unknown? So obviously people of the tarot, tarot, tarot group are card readers or they appreciate cards. And yet some of them were still a little bit unsure about what they would do if they saw a sign. Here are some of the responses. I thought they were interesting. And the point of this video is for you to also think about what you would do if you saw a fortune teller sign and then think about how do you react to things that are unknown? Do you take them on with uh, curiosity or do you tend to put past experiences in your own way? So let's look at some of the responses now. I'm just going to go through some of the comments. There's a lot of comments here so I won't read everybody's one. I'll just pull out the ones that are sort of uh, catch my eye and I think that are interesting. So Betty, I would go in and ask for my fortune. Mary, I would definitely walk in. Claire, I would definitely check it out. Tiger, I would like to test it. Abby, pass through. I've been into one and, it, and was sad to learn that they were charlatans. And I see them all the time. John, I'd keep walking. And then I asked why. And then John said, I don't see a reason to walk into a random fortune teller. I found this one quite interesting because I actually started my career when I walked into a random fortune teller shop. It was a new age store and it was in a shopping mall in Sydney and I was with my friend and we were having a break from study. We were both studying at university at the time and we uh, wanted to have a bit of a break. So we went to the mall and we went inside the New Age store just to shop around, look around. While he was chatting to the sales girl, I picked up a packet of tarot cards and they were the Morgan Greer tarot and I thought they were just beautiful and the, the art was beautiful. And then my friend came over to me and he said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm just looking at these tarot cards. They're, they're just really beautiful. And he said, uh, those cards are evil, put them down. You shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't play with tarot cards. And I said, I'm gonna buy these cards now because you said that. So this random sort of walking into a random new age store started my career. And then I remember the sales girl after she was, you know, finished talking with him, she came over to me and asked me, you know, if I needed any assistance with, you know, what I was doing, shopping and looking around. And I said to her, yeah, I want to buy these cards. And I remember she said to me, oh, those cards are going to take you on a journey. And she wasn't wrong because after that I started studying tarot. And then after I studied tarot, I actually started to read them. And then I became a professional tarot reader and uh, been doing this job uh, full-time since 1990. So there you go. So sometimes walking into a random fortune teller shop could change your life. Donna is not sure. Joy is ooh. So I take that as she's interested. Jennifer, I would go in. Eve, walk in. Fallon Marie, depends on the price. Aurora, 
take a pic of the sign it's cute Stephanie dip in and get a reading Stella I would write their name and look at them online there are many people that claim they read but they don't even know the basic meanings of the cards Jade take a selfie beside the art of the sign because it looks awesome oh thank you Jennifer go in and have a look see see if I feel something if so then ask for guidance Amy it depends I it would depend on the reader if they were an obvious intentional con artist I'd keep walking in the likely event that they were your typical skilled fake reader who uses cold reading techniques like vague Barnum statements and info phishing before they can begin reading I'd politely pass it's easy to spot they get edgy and impatient when you resist giving them anything to go on if they were the re the real deal the rare real deal I'd gladly pay for a reading and probably stick around and talk shop I've made a few long life friends this way and we trade readings every so often yes I would probably do something like that too I would probably sort of I would probably look at the info about the reader if it was a shop and if they had information I would also take into consideration the type of shop if it was a well-established place if it looked shonky I'd probably keep walking but if it was well presented and in a you know a nice location I would definitely probably get a reading and yes I too you can sort of tell when someone's not a um, a talented reader when they start asking questions and fishing for information you can sort of tell if they're going to be the real deal or not Eva I'd make it rain I'd be throwing my cash in there for sure my favorite type of places yes I've spent many a dollar on decks of cards becoming a bit of a card collector over the years and I also paid for many readings as well some were very very good some were very very accurate and I learned a lot from the reading and the reader some became teachers of mine and uh, some were disappointing I remember feeling frustrated with a few as well that were just not uh, you know connecting with me at all but I did learn from every reading even from the bad ones I learned some t tips and how perhaps not to treat people as well perhaps how to listen to people uh, so every reading had its value so to summarize I think most people fit into three different categories I think there's the ones that would go into the shop or follow the sign and perhaps look around browse and maybe ask questions I think there's the ones that would just want a reading and uh, just you know probably look for things to buy such as cards and other spiritual products and items and then there are those who are sort of like skeptical and probably won't go in the shop or follow the sign because of previous bad experiences with uh, fortune tellers or psychic readers or card readers so I think the majority of the uh, the comments fall into those three categories this post had a lot of comments it had about 70 comments so I tried to sort of get a cross-section of what people were saying this is Paris de Bono of the fortune teller shop Thank you.